afternoon. We can have afternoon coffee. It just depends on when you're watching this, but it is early morning for me. So I made you some coffee. Now, if you don't want coffee, just pause this and go make yourself maybe some tea or some cocoa, okay? Are you back? Okay, cheers. Mm. This is really, I made this probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. It's really the first sips I've had yet. I just kind of let it sit here to cool off. I like to drink my water first, do my emergency first. You say, what is emergency? Well, it's those packets. I've been uh, drinking this every morning for quite some time. I think I started around, when did I start doing this? And um, was it after COVID or before COVID? But I, I drink a packet of this every morning. It's got vitamins in it and electrolytes and yeah. Let me get this straight. So yeah. Well, you know, I love a routine. I really do. I do best in routines. Get over here. Say hi. <laughs> I know it's like my little pet flower. Yeah. My little puppy, my pet. That's about as good as it gets, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> me, me, me. Yeah, I do well with a routine. I really do. If if I don't have a routine, I feel sort of like just out there. And I, it, it confuses me. <laughs> that, I know. I don't know. But it's always been that way. It's not an age thing. I've always been that way. I enjoy a routine. I enjoy making a routine. I have friends out there who are retired like me. Well, I'm semi-retired because I still work. And, um, but I'm doing what I love to do, so it's not really work. But it, it is something that I need to do on a regular basis almost every day. And that's editing videos and, or, you know, coming up with things that I think that you might be interested in, things like that. And then there's a whole lot of other things that go along with editing. Okay. But, but that I have retired friends and I see their posts on Facebook and they let me know they're just, they just do something different almost every day. <laughs> and I'm like, that would be, that would, I, that would exhaust me. It really would mentally, that would exhaust me. I need a lot of alone time. So making a routine for me really works. And I bet for a lot of you too, it works to have a regular routine, what you do when you get up in the morning and then what part of the day that you do certain things. Like I go to the gym, so that needs to happen in the morning. And I will go in, um, after we spend some time together and I'm going to go into the gym and, uh, work on something. I even sort of have a routine for that. I mean, I think it's arms day. <laughs> I need to work on my arms. But you know what happens is after a while, I go through a period, and I bet you do too, where I just, you know, I'm going to break that routine. You know, even sometimes getting up in the morning, I wake up at four because I know that I want to get my bed together. I want to leave the area where I park to sleep. They say, come late, leave early. I want to leave early. And it's, there are times where I just lay there and I think, well, today I think I will sleep in. When in the back of my mind, I know that's not going to be good. <laughs> that's not going to, that's not going to turn out too good for me because during that day, it's only going to make it a confusing day. It'll be like a day. I might as well just take it and throw it in the garbage. Just as like, I'm, nothing's, nothing good's going to come from this. So I say, let's get up. So I do. Let's get up. Not every day do I think, oh, I just want to sleep in. You know, a lot of times I'm really excited about the day. Like, let's get this going. I got plans. I've made my list of things I'm going to do. Let's get this in gear. But... That's not always the case, but I do make myself get up in the morning. I really do. Even if it's just to drive to another place 
And I might just think, well, today I'm just going to chill out. I'm not going to do anything on my list. I'm not even going to go to the gym. And then, <laughs> and then there's those days where I really feel like, okay, it might be the start of a new year. It might be the start of a new system. I feel different, like something different happening. Spring is coming or, um, well, I like, I'm going to go on this trip here next week and things like that. So I like, oh, I must get, when, as soon as I get back, I'm going to make a brand new schedule routine. So what I do is I've got my clipboard and I can write things down and I will set maybe go to my office in my restaurant, it's my new office, and I will go and I'll write, the, okay, this sounds like a really good routine. Sounds like a great schedule. And I look at it for a couple of days. And then what happens is what happened the other day. I was looking through going, oh, there's my schedule that I made like a month ago. I don't even look at it. So, you know, there's there's all these things that can go on with making a routine and sometimes they're necessary they're necessary things that need to happen if you want your life to go well so how do we overcome getting tired of a routine for me they're necessary i bet for most of you a routine is necessary, you know, to get things done, to be successful. I mean, if you just want to just sit on the couch and watch TV all day, okay. But I don't really think that's good for a successful life. And it's a good way just to go, you know, yeah, and then, and then you're gone. And then your life is over because you're not moving around. You're not being excited about life. I like to be excited. So if I want this kind of life, guess what? I need to be in some routines. Now, if there's, like I said, if there's a couple days where, I don't know, I don't really feel like doing it, um, then I let myself a go. Yeah, that kind of was yesterday. I, let's shut this. I went to the laundromat and I had to get out of my routine because this had to happen. Remember I spilled that coffee here? I never did wash all of my blankets after that until yesterday I got myself, I said, this is the day, <laughs> this is the day. And um, I got everything together and I thought, well, maybe I'll have somebody else do it. I'll pay for it. That would well, it had to happen. I had to come to the laundromat. <laughs> I finally am doing my blankets. Remember when I spilled my coffee? If you watch that, it was like, I just made a mess. It was a mess, but I kept avoiding it. <laughs> it dried out, but I'm finally doing all my blankets. Of course, I'll show you me putting everything back. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a morning project. Like 70, $80. They charge like $7 a blanket. That would have been four blankets, plus some towels, plus all of that. Oh my gosh, yeah, $60, $70. So that, that actually made me feel good because I knew that, oh, well now I'm gonna save money because I'm gonna do it myself. I went to a different laundromat. I went to my very old laundromat and I knew that probably their dryers were gonna work better than the ones that I've been using. Well, anyways, so I went in there and you know what? There were a couple of people in there. We just had a good conversation while it was going on. It was a fun thing to do. I got it all done. But then I had to put this all back together. <laughs> Cause all these bins right here. Oh yeah, these bins. I put them in my, I went to storage first and dumped them in, dumped as much as I could into storage. So I had an open area to put it back. Another reason to have a storage. And when I got done with all the blankets and all the towels, everything is clean and my clothes, I had to, okay. Now I was actually gonna film part of it, but I thought, no way. That I would have the, the it was too much to deal with laying down the towels first everything has to be out of here so that it'll go nicely and they'll lay down smoothly well long story short i did that and i got it done and it took 
most of the morning. But guess what? In the afternoon, that was all I did. I, I watched a program. Yeah. I watched a program and I watched two or three episodes of it, which is like three hours. Then I took a two hour nap and I did not edit and I did not film. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. So yesterday was sort of one of those decadent, delicious days where I got everything done in the morning that I, that I wanted, that I needed to do extra. And yeah. So today it's almost as if I would say, well, because I worked so hard yesterday, take maybe two days off today. I might just totally relax all day. And then starting Monday, I can like really zap up and get back to my uh, routine. So sometimes the point is that sometimes we need to take a break from it. If we're, we have a routine and we're very um, committed to it and we stick to it, well, sometimes we just need a break from it. And that's okay. Don't do it all the time. But every once in a while, it's good to take a break. So my, my feeling is, is that if you hate your routine and you really don't like doing it a lot, maybe what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing. If it's like you're going for like you're, you're, you're working at something and you're trying to learn something new or something, if it really doesn't bring you peace doing it, then I think it's probably a good idea that maybe this is, isn't what you're meant to do and you need to switch things up just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's Look, it's going back. It's moving. <laughs> my living, my living um, flower. There we go. That's a good flower. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So you need to kind of take a assess if this is what you're really supposed to be doing. But if you know in your heart of hearts that this is what you love to do, like I love to do what I do, that maybe it might be a good idea to actually write down the, the pros and cons of what, of what you love to do. And I guarantee you, if you really love to do it, the, the pros will way outweigh the cons. If I was to write a list of why do you like to um, make film? Why do you like to edit? Why do you like to do graphic arts? Why do you like to do that? And maybe even why do I like to live in my van? I mean, really, sometimes it's a good idea maybe to stop and write down why I like to do this, why, and what, the good, the pros and the cons, which I'm coming up to, coming up with an episode where I do talk about that, because I like to keep it real. You know, this, it isn't, I say, <laughs> it isn't rainbows and unicorns every day here, but most days it is. See, that's the key. Most days it is unicorns and rainbows. I love it. I love living in my minivan. There are days every once in a while where I think, oh my gosh. Well, yesterday having to drag all that laundry into a laundromat, wouldn't it be nice to just have a have a house with a washer and dryer right there? Or an apartment where I just have to take it down to, I don't have to drive anywhere and I can just take it down to the laundromat, you know? But th those are so minor. Those are just those, those cons, the negative side of, what I do in my life are so minimal compared to what I really do enjoy about it. And I do tell you guys a lot. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy your input. I enjoy talking to you because I feel your energy out there. I really do. And I enjoy my friends that I have made through this and we talk on Facebook. You can message me on Facebook. That's a good place to message me. Um, emailing me um, might not be the best idea. I've gotten some emails from people that <clears throat> haven't been um, nice, I'm, I will say. So sometimes I kind of avoid, if I see that it's not to do with business, I may, 
I know it sounds sad, but I may just get rid of it only because I've been zinged so many times by um, emails. But if you are, if you really want to like ask me a question that you don't want to do in comments, Facebook, Messenger, just get an account on Facebook. You probably already do, but maybe you don't use it very much. And that way I can kind of like, it's a better system for me to um, gauge and deal with if it, if it isn't a good, a good comment or if it, if it just wants to be nasty. Um, the nasty, uh, is very minimal. The positive is very wide. You all are so wonderful. Yeah. <clears throat> but I just wanted to mention that about routines because I have to deal with that. Routines are something that I do wrestle with. I love them. I can't live without them. I can't live without a, somewhat of a schedule. Not a tight schedule, but a rough schedule, like a routine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I do I always want to go into the gym every morning? Not really. You know, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want to just sit out here. But what good is that just to sit? What good is it? At the senior center, here's something that kind of came to my mind. I met this one gal, she's 83, wonderful. I really clicked with her. And so we, I sat with her a couple of times. So, you know, a lot of times I like to ask these people, what, what is your life like without saying that? Oh, what's your life like? Um, what's your story? You know, you know, you don't want to approach that way, but I'll ask certain questions. And I, I said, well, what, Mary, what do you do? What, like, what do you do during the day? And she says, oh, not too much. And I said, well, g give me an example. She goes, oh, I, I kind of just watch TV, <laughs> you know, and I felt, I don't know. I felt kind of sad about that. I said, well, do you have any hobbies? She goes, no, not really. But she really was a very elegant, uh, she dresses very nice when she comes. She said she walks. She kind of has a walker, but she does walk here. And then another fella drives her, drives her after, after lunch. But yeah, she's just wonderful. But I felt kind of sad that that's what she did because, you know, it's pretty much downhill with that kind of a lifestyle. I don't plan on doing that. <laughs> I really don't. But there are times where I do feel like just sitting in here. Sometimes I just feel like sitting in here like I did yesterday afternoon and I propped my phone up and I just sort of watched a program and then I got sleepy then I put my pillows down here and and uh, fell right asleep yeah I fell asleep I woke up at one point and I was so into dreaming I went right back to sleep two hours I probably needed it yeah from getting up so early in the morning but yeah um I wanted to talk about this I thought maybe it might be helpful for you um so uh, key points. If you do have a routine, good for you. If you're older, good for you. If you're younger and you're still at work, you still have to have a routine. Like, what are you going to do on the weekends? When are you going to clean your home? When are you going to wash your car? And what are you going to do after work? When are you going to fit in the gym? Because it's still really important. And if you're older and you are still have a routine and you have like a hobby, things you want to pursue, uh, that's wonderful. But, and in fact, it's, it's excellent, excelente, right? But there are times when we get tired of our routine and we just say, I need a break. Take the break, take a couple days off. If you need more than that, you might want to assess whether what you're doing is right for you. And maybe you need to switch that up just a little bit, right? And then another thing that you can do is make a list. List the pros and the cons of your routine, of your life at the moment, what you're doing with your life. And I think that would be good even if you don't have a routine because I'm telling you what, if you're just sitting in your on your couch and you are watching TV, 
it would almost be, I mean, a little bit of TV is fine. Um, if you have a, you know, pick a couple programs that you like during the day and watch them. But if it's just a day after day after day after day, you're sitting on the couch with your back this way, your seat this way, and your feet down, it's not good. It's not good for your body. And you won't sustain a good lifestyle or a long longevity. You won't, you won't um, sustain that. So, yeah, I think that I have had, I have um, a lot of people who watch me that are believers. And some of you say, well, the body, I've had people, I've had people um, who are believers say that. I've heard pastors say that. The body doesn't matter. It's your relationship with the Lord. Au contraire. I mean, it matters a lot. You've got to stay healthy because this down here helps this up here work, right? I mean, you need to have some muscle structure, okay? So it does matter. It does. And you need to take care of your body and because it also takes care of your mind. Yeah, it's all connected. So just sitting on the couch, you even if you were shut it off and read a book, okay? And then get up and even if it's walking around your house or your apartment or go out back and walk in your yard, walk around and move, move. You need to move. So I hope in, when you make a routine and you make a schedule or you already have one, I hope moving is in there. Yeah, very important. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drink just a little bit more of my coffee. Hope you enjoyed this. If there's any way that um, I can inspire or help or just talk to you, like I say, you you actually help me. I get a lot of energy from all of you. I hope that you leave uh, your comments and your ideas or even just with a heart and say hi. That really does help out. And subscribing down there, subscribing helps. Make sure you're subscribed. And go to minivanlee.com if you wanna peruse through um, some of the products that I have. And there are exercise tapes on there. And also, if you want to give me a small gift, no pressure, you don't have to. Um, but it does keep me going with what I do. So until tomorrow, everybody, I want you to go have a really good day. Good things are coming your way. Good things are coming my way. I had this mirror right here. Yeah, this is a mirror. This is, um, I think it's a Coglins that was some, I bought it years ago when I was prepping. It's just a lightweight mirror for camping. It's a camping mirror. And a lot of times when I finally turn my light on and I just kind of look in the mirror and I high five myself, like high five. So like, good morning, you're doing a good job. And then I say, good things are coming my way. Good things are coming my way. Six words that can change your life. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Till tomorrow, I'll look for you. <laughs>